Hey guys, Jay here. I'm here with Mike, and we're currently in the car and on our way to New York. And the reason we're headed there is we have a list of locations that we're going to set out to hopefully explore and uh, make some videos of. Now we have a list, but we don't know which ones are there and which ones are actually accessible. So it's going to be partially a scouting trip, but we're hoping to make two or three videos out of this as well. And if there's any additional ones that we can't get to today, there's going to be a return trip. So if all goes well, we're going to have some video a few videos coming out in the near future from New York of some pretty pretty amazing locations and uh, we're well prepared and we actually got our respirators so I know a lot of people have been complaining saying we should be wearing masks well if there's any bad locations with mold then this will be on us and it won't be any any concern anymore uh, so stay tuned and hopefully when you see us next we'll be in New York okay everyone we arrived and we're in Catskills of New York and our first location is Grossinger's. It was a Jewish resort that's been shut down and it's currently in the midst of being demolished so thankfully there's still a lot of structures here. We're gonna get inside show some before and after photos of certain areas and uh, there's a lot of ground to cover but we're not gonna show everything a lot of it's just rooms but we want to show the main building that's gonna have the pool uh, the lounge and you know all the important stuff so once we get inside we'll pick up back with the video and show you what we find now there's acres and acres of property here in buildings there's probably over a dozen buildings so we're going to try and search around and see which one is the correct one to get inside of even at 800 acres with 600 rooms it wasn't the biggest hotel but grossinger's was the queen of the catskills Here's the story Jenny Grossinger's son tells her. Rocky just called, he's flying and Make sure you have some of the egg rolls he made such a big fuss about last time. What egg rolls? She says, I had dinner with Rocky last night. He didn't say a thing about egg rolls. It took him five minutes to figure out. She was talking about Rocky Marciano. He was talking about Nelson Rockefeller. 100,000 people a year went to Grossinger's. That's millions of memories of the Catskills. Seligan Malka Grossinger moved to a Catskills farm in 1914. Unlike other Jewish farmers who'd opened their farms to summertime guests and boarders, the Grossingers were by profession restaurateurs. They really wanted you to have seconds, or at least they made you feel that way. But most of the reason was daughter-in-law Jenny, who made everybody feel at home, even in the 40s and the 50s when Grossingers would royally entertain 100,000 guests a year. Everybody came to Grossingers, and everybody played Grossingers. Everybody. From Burl to Ball, that's Alan King, everybody. Eddie Fisher was another invented Eddie Cantor protege. Because Grossinger's had its own airport, their PR man, Milton Blackstone, could fly in columnists and reporters. They owed him. When Fisher opened, they paid him back. With the column mentions and feature stories that made him a star. Blackstone wanted Grossinger's to create a star, and Eddie Fisher never forgot. He married Debbie Reynolds here, brought Elizabeth Taylor here, plugged the hotel coast to coast on the Colgate Comedy Hour. You know me, you're an uh, old Grossinger pal. That's a fact. Rocky and I trained at the same place. He is a fighter and I as a singer. Novelist Mordechai Rickler called this Disneyland with niches. Damon Runyon called it Lindy's with trees. Everything centered around the pool with diving shows, with diving races, uh, swing races. And it was just like party night every night. Every single night was party night. Longtime Grossinger's guest Yogi Berra said, now, these days, even nostalgia isn't what it used to be. But Yogi's wrong. These really were great days. As great as we remember. Too great to ever forget. Alright, we came into our first building, and this looks like it may have been uh, maybe a maintenance area. And we came upon several golf carts here. What's that superstar? You think that was a golf cart or a lawnmower? And we got four of them here. Now, as I mentioned, there are certain parts of the grounds here that are being demolished. Some of the buildings are already not, already knocked down, but hopefully the important ones are still here. Here's like a little tunnel. Thanks. It goes out to the other end, outside. 
Hmm. Some miscellaneous items laying in here. We got some shoes, propane tank. This is just one of at least a dozen buildings. So, again, I'm not going to show every square inch of this place because it would be a three hour video. But anything that we find interesting, we'll definitely show it. All right, we just had a little bit of a scare because we're in our first building here that we were already showing you and a construction truck, it looks like a foreman's truck came up the road and went up towards where we parked our car. So he came back down, didn't stop, but um, hopefully we don't have any more encounters like that and hopefully the police don't show up because even though it is being demolished, it is posted, you know, not to trespass for safety reasons, but we're hoping to get what we need to get and get out of here before anything happens. So. That was just a little update, but we're going to continue on and hope for the best. Got a big building in front of us here, so check this one out next. Lots of broken windows. So we do have additional floors. We'll check down here first. This floor is soft. Oh, that's pretty neat. Goes down. goes this is a big building whatever it is I'm gonna say this is one of the hotels here I'll check that one a little bit and see this floor is like plywood but it's like very soft and squishy Looks like it's mostly stripped up there, so let's go up here and see what's going on. Alright, this is... Is that the pool over there? Yep. Alright, we're going to have to try and find a different way. Between here and there, it's all rotted. This is like a death trap waiting to happen. You can see clear through the basement. Can you go right around the edge there? Yeah. Just keep hold of something. Hmm? That's really soft right there. Where? Right where you're stepping. Okay. We'll see if we can find another way. Maybe we could go around here somehow. Yeah. Don't me. It's too risky. All right, so our plan got diverted. We can't go ahead that way just because the floor is way too rotted. And it's a long drop down, but there does appear to be something that we came to be looking for up there. And uh, we're gonna try and find another, another way around. So we're gonna backtrack and Try and go down the basement. At least once we're down there, we can't fall through the floor. There's another hole. This isn't going to be the easiest way either, but 
think it's our only option. That is a nice staircase. Got some gift bags there or laundry bags. Oh, this is big. Yeah, look at this. this is a hair salon. These are the hair dryers and the chairs. I even like that colored tile. Definitely a little creepy down here though. You've got some dripping water, it's dark. Can't really tell if someone's down here or not with you. Hello? I wonder how old these things are. Can't read the name on it. And my understanding, if I'm correct, a lot of these resorts were basically one-stop destinations. They had everything for you. Aside from restaurants and activities, they had usually an on-site doctor or nurse. They had hair salons, a little market, you know, to buy stuff for your rooms. So they wanted to make sure that the guests stayed here once they arrived here. Well, look at these. That wallpaper is like just peeling off. It's like plastic, right? Yeah. Better heavy paper. <clears throat> that colored tile backsplash there reminds me of like a bowling alley. This was a pretty big hair salon. Wow. I've seen some hair salons and stylists, uh, barbers, and other places, but not this big. If you look up at the ceiling, it's actually icicles. I think that's what they are. This is definitely a place you could get lost in. Jesus. I wonder what this was. Like little islands. Yeah, let's go up here. And I'll come back down. Look at this, guys. This is what one of the main reasons we came here. This is one gigantic pool. And look up top, they even had uh, like Almost like concert lights up there. And you can even see them in the holes of the pools. This is definitely like a party area for guests. Yeah, that's extremely deep. 12 feet deep. It says on the wall there. There's like the little flotation uh, line to separate the shallow from the deep end. 
This is one of the biggest pools I've ever seen, at least for an abandoned resort. This is pretty amazing. The camera is definitely not going to do this place justice. I mean, it's so open, so big, so colorful. And look, even that speaker, I guess you call it like maybe a speaker tower hanging there. This is just incredible. So you saw the before, and here's the after. I had this lined up as best I could. There was additional diving boards. Right here you can see the pipes for them where they're cut away. But the main board is still there. And that's a long drop into the water. There used to be a ladder on that. Summer fashions on parade beside a swimming pool mark the start of a winter festival weekend at Grossinger's, New York. Outside, the mercury is in the low 30s, but inside, styles by Mr. Mort bring a preview of summer sun. All the activities of the festival weekend are centered on the world press premiere of UI's new animated release, The Snow Queen, which is where the little ones are led by Happy the Clown, and which the youngsters find far more entrancing than any fashion show, you can be sure. After the premiere of the new film, which will be released for Easter, Shelley Winters crowns the festival's own Snow Queen, skating star Jinx Clark. Her new sovereign of Winter's Realm. This right here is the reason why we do what we do. Stuff like this is not only forgotten, but this is a prime example of places that won't be here anymore. And videos like this will help document it and preserve it. When you get to see a giant, massive indoor pool like this that's abandoned, not every day, not unless you're watching our videos. I'm gonna try and get in the pool, which isn't a problem, but getting out might be a different story, but I gotta go in here and check it out myself. From what I saw from photos, it actually did get remodeled a number of different times since it opened. So I did show a before photo. It looks a little bit different than it does now. But um, it's still the same pool, just a little bit of remodeling to make it look a little different. So now I gotta figure out how to get out. And here's one final look. Back here, you can really appreciate the size of this place. 
There is an outdoor pool here as well. And we're gonna try and find that next. We have a little corridor out here. It's gonna connect us from the pool to the next building. So that's where we're headed right now. So that corridor didn't work out halfway through. The floor was completely gone, clear through to the outside. So now we gotta sneak out this window and trudge through the weeds. Okay, so we're currently in one of the guest wings here, adjacent to the pool. And these are all pretty much stripped rooms. Nothing really worth in there showing. And they're all like that. This is a cool chair though. There's some of the lighting. This is pretty much just utter and total destruction. You can even see the heat lamps up there. Well, we came upon our first elevator, so let's see if we could take it down. All right, we're currently below where the swimming pool was. Look at that. Sauna. Oh, yeah. Sauna rocks. That's probably the biggest pile of sauna rocks I've ever seen. It's like a giant steam room. They're probably made to go in there. Yeah. That's a lot of rocks. I just wanted to show this room. I don't know what it was. Maybe a locker room, but that colored tile is pretty nice. Gives off like a funhouse effect. Maybe that was the dry one. Timers are still working. I hope they get showers. Random barber chair. All right, guys, we're kind of whispering, keeping it quiet. We think there's someone else here. We heard some broken glass not too far away from us. But this looks like it's the hotel lobby. Here's the steps that thousands of guests would have used on a daily basis. Got lots of water up here. 
This is why it's good to have proper lighting because this whole floor is gone. And the floor in front of that pillar there is sagging really far. This is like a death trap waiting to happen. Okay, this looks like it's one of the banquet rooms. The funny thing is these walls are drywalled. They're not even painted. Yeah, I think these are multiple banquet rooms up here, or ballrooms. Yeah. Yeah, I won't even attempt to walk across this floor. That's the floor that we saw from upstairs. Alright, we came upon our second find and we found the outdoor pool. And we didn't think it was going to be here anymore because there's lots of uh, torn down buildings and land that's been bulldozed, but they haven't touched this yet. Some old lounge chairs. And this pool looks like it has those openings too with the lights. And if you guys haven't noticed, Mike's spotting his new shirt. <laughs> So now you guys can't complain if there's any uh, crackage that's showing. <laughs> It'll just fulfill the picture. This pool looks nearly identical to the other one as far as size-wise. This one has a decent amount of water in it because you can see the lounge chairs in there and they're submerged. That's probably about five, six feet worth of water. And it looks like they even had a a little bar out here for the guests. Yeah, exactly what it was, a little bar. Well, you saw the before, and here's the after. It's almost unrecognizable. There was a pool ladder right in front of me somewhere. That appears to be gone now. But there's a real step ladder that's down there and some things swimming in the water. And here's the piping for the diving board. It's quite large. Okay, straight through there was the big outdoor pool and we came over here what looked like a little patio area but hidden in the trees looks like a stage so we're gonna check this out really quick this is pretty neat it's like a little outdoor stage I'm guessing they would have had maybe speaking engagements or possibly musical acts all right guys, we're actually in the building that we actually first started in with the golf carts. And this is the upstairs part of it. And we can't get over there obviously because the floor's rotted, but look at these colorful benches. I mean, it's almost like candy cane colors. And I don't know if these were used for maybe a bowling alley or roller skating, but like even those little pillars have seats around them. So unfortunately we can't get over there, it's all rotted but I don't know what this would have been used for. All right guys, that's gonna wrap up today's video. Let me know your thoughts on this place. Personally, 
I was overwhelmed with how large and sprawling it is and we didn't even get to cover all the grounds. We ran into a few snags. When we first got here, a vehicle drove by a construction vehicle, so we thought by chance it might get cut short. We came back down and we hit, didn't see anyone else since then, but we heard sounds of like someone in there breaking glass near the pool area, so we thought for sure someone was there with us. So we kept our distance. We just needed to film what we needed to film and got out of there. Now, one disappointment is that I didn't get to all the areas I wanted to get. I did want to film the bars, the lounges, uh, but I did get the main swimming pool, the indoor pool, which was amazing. I couldn't believe how big that was. The outdoor pool, the main lobby, so we got a lot of cool pieces, but I also have some additional photos from when the place was operational, so I'm going to share those as well. And what I'll basically do after this little segment's done, I'll do a uh, music montage. I'll share some photos that we took here. I have some drone footage. So that'll all be put in at the end, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that. But uh, Mike, what did you think about it? I think it was a great place. It's pretty big. Uh, inside pool, amazing. It, I don't think I've ever saw one that big before. Um, outside pool was pretty pretty neat. I like the roller skating rink. Unfortunately, um, it's pretty in rough shape. Not getting to see too much, but all in all, it's a big place. Yeah, we had a great time uh, exploring it and sharing it with you guys. And this is just one of the many places up here in New York that we plan on filming. We have additional ones we're going to check out today. So this won't be the only one. There will be additional videos coming out in the near future. If you guys did like this video, make sure you let us know by giving it a thumbs up. It lets us know that you enjoy the content. Also make sure that you're subscribed to my channel and that you have your notification bell turned on so that way you don't miss any future uploads. I want to thank you for watching and as always, we'll see you in the next video.